Hey guys, welcome to Yenna Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And it has been one hot minute since I've done a proper recording. Anyone who's been on my channel for a little while has probably seen the last two dodgy kind of recordings that I've done on my phone just explaining that pretty much my life turned to shit um, since I recorded my last proper video. And um, I mean, I'm not going to go too much into it, but it has been definitely interesting, which is another reason why I look like a total hot mess tonight. So, um... It is what it is. I'm in no frame of mind really or do I have the time right now to sort of like bedazzle myself I guess just so I can do an empties video but I thought you know better than um, not having a video at all I just jump on bed, cup of coffee, talk a little bit of shit with you guys, talk about some products that I have been using since the last time that I did an empties video with you guys and I'll let you know, guys know what I thought about the product so if that sounds something like, something like you're interested in, stay tuned. Welcome back guys, like I said, I'm going to be a little bit rusty around the edges at the moment, you know, I'm, I'm exhausted and um, for those that are interested in what's going on in our lives right now, there are quite a few things that are going on, but one of the biggest things that is going on is that um, our three year old was just diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and it's, it's definitely something that's um, going to take some time to get used to for everybody and uh, more so him. Uh, but he's a little champ and he's doing really well and um, yeah it's something that we're managing day by day and it's getting a little bit better day by day but still we've got some challenges ahead and um, so my recording schedule although it was already a little bit crazy before is going to be a little bit more crazy so um, I do apologize but I didn't create this channel with the intention of making money so I've never really been one that sort of um, has a regular uh, schedule, upload schedule, and I, as much as I would love to do that, it's just not something that I can uh, commit to right now. So, without further ado, let's get on to this empties video. We're going. To, what month are we in? We're we just gone into June, so you know what, we're going to call this July, uh, the July empties. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to edit this video, but hopefully, I get this up before mid June, and um, you guys can enjoy it. So. Let's get stuck into it. So the first product that I have, I usually have uh, in my empties, is this Dove body wash. I've got really, really sensitive skin, and um, this and other things like Cerave and um, QV are pretty much the only things that I can get away with using uh, without sort of like for long term without having um, eczema play up or just itchy skin. I love this. Um, occasionally, I go out and I buy something a little bit special and sometimes I regret it, sometimes I don't, but this is always my fallback guys, so I can trust this and I'll definitely buy this again. And this is really good value too. Uh, usually I can pick this up, like I think full price it's between $13 and $15, but I can usually pick it up for around about $8, so, so yeah, really good. Moving on to our next product, I have something a little bit special. now. I don't remember all of the details about this, but I have this uh, Thank You Body Wash. I actually believe it's by the brand Botanics. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Um, I'll leave something up on the screen for you. It just says Thank You Body Wash. It's the revitalizing, yeah, revitalizing and life-changing botanical cedar wood. So um, the beautiful thing about this is, is not only is it cheap as hell, but 100% uh, of the profit helps uh, in poverty. So 100% of the profits go towards poverty. And uh, I was a little bit skeptical at first when I, you know, heard that. I'm like, really? 100%? Like, uh, I don't know. But anyway, what I can tell you definitely for sure is that it smells great. Um, I love the smell of cedar wood. Thing is, for me, like when I'm smelling this, it smells a little bit like more like lemongrass. I love to mix lemongrass and cedar wood together. And this one, I just, I love it. I love it. Um, it foams up all right, but the only thing uh, I got to say about this is that it comes out kind of like um, uh, like gel, like the gel consistency. And if you don't have a loofer or something like that, it's gonna slide off your hand. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it does froth up really, really well. Um, but yeah, you definitely need like one of those body loofers or a face washer or something like that. Um, yeah. But I love this. I, th I think it's great. Um, it's, yeah. Yeah. 
definitely one that I'm going to be buying again. Ah, also, uh, it didn't uh, affect my sensitive skin, so. And you can buy it in a pump bottle too, a big one, and there's a bunch of other different um, things from these brands as well, this brand as well, so I'm definitely going to try it. I'm definitely going to try that. Moving on, another old faithful is this Dove Original Body Spray. Um, I sweat like a man. I stink like a man sometimes. Uh, sometimes worse, actually. And um, for years, uh, I would try heaps of different brands of um, deodorants and antiperspirants. Uh, nothing worked. It actually made me smell worse until I came across this one. But only the original. Like, I have another one. Hang on, I think it's here. Um, I have another one, this Dove... Uh, invisible dry anti white marks and occasionally I, I mess up when I'm doing my shopping and I pick up this one this invisible dry anti white mark one is crap I actually don't like it so uh, it's the original that I think is the best one and that doesn't leave marks on me whereas this invisible anti white marks bullshit does so <laughs> uh, funny that anyway uh, definitely purchase that one again I decided I wanted to try some hand creams as well, and uh, I picked up this, what is it? This, um, is it, this a hand cream? No, it's not. Oh, no. Okay. So, I got, I, I don't know how I came across this, but I got this moisturizer. I think I do. Uh, yeah, I, I got this one as a gift um, from a friend of mine from, what's the website? Jeez, what's the website called? Ugh. I'm going to have to leave it on the screen. iHerb. Ah, yeah, there you go. So I'm going to leave it on the screen. Uh, it came from iHerb and it smells like roses. It's the Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses Body Lotion. And look, it's, it's not bad, but I don't like the smell of roses in my skincare. It kind of smells... I don't mean to be offensive, but it, it kind of smells like my nana and all of my nana's friends. You know, that... You know, the pop, you know, the pop puree was a big thing in the like 80s and my mum did it as well. And I don't know, I just don't, I don't like the smell of rose unless it's from an actual rose. Uh, yeah, and so I ended up using this on my hands, which was okay, but I wouldn't repurchase this. It's not memorable, but I mean, for me, I've got better things. So that's that. Next thing is, is these Patchology eye gels. I love these. Um, I've used these before, shown them in one of my past videos. Uh, they're very cooling. I don't know if they actually do anything, but I really love just to kick back, chuck them on, just relax. Uh, they say to wear them for five minutes, but I usually go like 10, 15, because I forget that I have them on. They are so nice to wear, and they're kind of cute too. Like, they're, they're see-through, but they've got like these little sparkly things to it, so I mean, not like I'm going to put it on because I want to look cute or anything, but... These are nice, definitely would repurchase these ones again. But um, there's another brand that I like even better than these. I think it's Wonder Beauty sell uh, these ones that look like gold, like gold leaf. Fantastic. Those ones, definitely love, love, love. Anyway, these are my second favourite eye gels uh, that I've tried so far and I would definitely repurchase those ones again. Moving on, I have this Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining face mask detoxify and brighten could they put any more words on that look this isn't a bad product but i have dry skin and although they say that you can like dry skin uh sufferers can wear this or use this should i say um i don't know i just think that it's more it's better to be targeted at oily combination skin for me it was okay but i just didn't see any benefits of using it, it smelled nice i think yeah, that's right. It kind of smells a little weird, but yeah, I can't tell you what it smells like because I've, I've smelled it before, but I can't put my finger on it. So anyway, um, I would uh, recommend this for oily combination skin, but not for dry. So moving on, I have this Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Primer. This was crap. Um, I used it because I had it and because I spent the money on it, but I've tried way better primers. This is one of those primers where you say, I really don't think primers are doing anything for me. But I've tried primers that do. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if every primer that you try was like this one, in my, personal in my personal experience, then I could understand why you would think the primers don't work. So I wouldn't repurchase this one. I wouldn't recommend this one. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Next thing I have is this um, Graham, Graham's Natural Organic Lip Balm in the flavour, scent, whatever, vanilla. This is also from iHerb. 
this was okay, but it's nothing to write home about. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about it. It was nice, but it's not, it's not special. It's just a lip balm, so let's move on. Next thing I have, aha, the hand cream that I was talking to you about. So I did a ton of research because my hands, they've always looked really old. I mean, I might even be able to do a zoom in for you or I might have a photo that I can show you, but they've always looked really, really wrinkly and old, like just really disgusting. Um, I mean, I probably started taking notice of them around about eight and around about eight, they were pudgy, but they were also still kind of wrinkly. And I was like, oh, what's going on? So I think it might be sun damage. I don't know. But anyway, moving on from that, I really wanted a nice hand cream, but I can't stand it when my hands are all tacky. Um, even when I'm going to bed, I don't like it. I don't like fit foot cream or hand creams that are really tacky. And um, I ended up coming across uh, a lot of people bragging about the chemistry brand uh, their hand cream and I thought oh yeah cool I'll give it a go even though yeah, it's, a, it's not the cheapest uh, hand cream but it's not the most expensive either but I thought for for how much I got like this little tube only lasted me two weeks of using it morning and night so um in, and I think I paid oh I think I paid $23 for this so yeah Anyway, look, um, this this kind of like is a bit of a catfish. They say that you're not going to get results for two weeks, you know. Um, and I started using it, and about day four, I started looking at my hands and, and questioning, looking at my hands going, am I seeing a result? Am I not seeing a result? Um, and the answer is yes and no. So what I found with this is that it's got something illuminating in it. So um, after a while of using it, it it sort of bounces the light off your hands and I, well for me that that doesn't make my hands look younger actually that makes them look worse but um it, it does have a brightening effect on the hands uh and one thing that i did notice that it did do very very slightly and only if i used it morning and night um it was helping the elasticity in my hands not necessarily getting rid of the wrinkles because i didn't see that at all um but yeah, I mean, it says that it targets eight signs of hand aging simultaneously. And so it says that um, it helps improve the look of firmness, elasticity, density, evenness, brightness, texture, smoothness, and hydration. And what I can tell you out of all of those claims is that the elasticity, yes, a little bit. The firmness, well, firmness and elasticity, almost hand in hand there. The density sort of the same thing uh evenness no brightness definitely yes but not in a good way um texture not really smoothness not really texture and smoothness are pretty much the same thing and hydration a little bit so would i spend the money on this again no um i didn't find this to be revolutionary uh yeah i mean i could probably get better results with just a, a regular uh, body butter or a really good moisturizer. So I'm not going to spend the money on this one again. It's too bad because I thought this was going to be something special. But anyway, let's move on. Next thing I have is, aha, remember I told you about the Wonder Beauty eye gels? Here they are, the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. These things here, they are so cute. Did I keep them so I could show you? That is the question. Oh, it's manky in here. And are they it? Yeah, okay, it's stuck to the inside of the packet. Hang on, let me see if I can retrieve one. Can you see that? I mean, they've been sitting in here for quite some time, guys, but um, maybe you can see it. There you go. Uh, but they, they, they are really, really nice, like really, really nice. And I did see some sort of results. You know, I felt like my eyes felt rejuvenated. Um, the puffiness was partially gone. They just felt really, really nice after I used it. And I would definitely 100% recommend these and definitely buy them again. And I almost, almost wouldn't be too upset at the price. Do you know what I mean? Like, And I, I don't like to spend money on well, anything. Moving on, I've got this Garnier Skin Active Honey Mask. This was okay, but it was nothing special. It was just like, eh, um, I wanted to put a mask on. Just give my skin a little bit more hydration. Doesn't really do anything super. Makes me feel nice when I'm wearing it, but wouldn't repurchase it again. It's not memorable. So, moving on. 
Next thing I have, and <laughs> I hate this. So I went to Best and Less the other day to get my son some more clothes. And as I'm standing in the checkout, there's all these extra things that a clothing store really shouldn't sell. And anyway, I came across these series of masks. I think there was like five different masks there and I don't even know what the brand is. Did I keep the top bit? Might have the brand here. No, nah. nah, I don't even know what the brand is. But anyway, I picked up this hydrating and soothing olive leaf extract and vitamin E face mask, right? It was three bucks and I thought, well, I'll give it a go. This was horrendous. So when I took it out of the packet, it was it was dripping everywhere. There was so much fluid, but it wasn't controllable fluid, you know. It was it was it was it was like pineapple juice. It was all over the place. And I was like, okay, cool. And then it had this um, film over it that you couldn't really take off before you put the mask on, so you had to put it on. But it was so firm that the mask didn't want to stick to your face. And then when you were trying to peel it off, the mask was coming off. And then when you finally did get that cover off, guess what? The eye holes were like these tiny little slits. I could barely fit my nose out of it and there was almost no mouth hole at all. It was the worst mask I have ever, ever tried. And you would think, hey Tan, you only spent $3 on it, what do you expect? Aha, that's where I'm gonna stop you. Some of the best masks that I've tried are three or $4. The um, Garnier Hydro Boost Mask, I love that. I can pick that up for $2.50 sometimes. So, um, yeah, this this was an epic fail, and I don't know what anyone was thinking making this. So it's just like, oh, let's just, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Moving on. That was shit. Next thing I have, just as bad, actually, well, maybe not so, is this Ole Magna Mask Infusion. So it was, was pretty much a cloth mask where they put the moisturiser on it. It wasn't anything special. I could have got the same effect by slathering my face with moisturiser and not rubbing it in. So um, that was a waste of my time. Moving on. I have this Herbal Essence Repair Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. It's just this little travel thing. I don't have the shampoo in here at the moment. Um, this was nice, but I wouldn't repurchase it again because it's not my favorite kind of scent I guess so but it was nice uh, next thing I have is this Neutrogena single makeup remover cleansing towelette actually I found this really really nice but I don't use um, face wipes makeup removing wipes but since I had it I thought I'd use it so it was nice but I wouldn't repurchase it because I don't use makeup wipes so moving on now I have this drunk elephant TLC Happy Scalp Scrub Refine and Volumize Thingamajiggy. This was horrible. This was utter crap. I, I follow the directions. It was just horrible. I don't have anything else to say. I can't remember anything other than grittiness and that I absolutely hate this product and it didn't volumize my hair. So let's move on and not give that any more light. Uh, I also have this little sample of Skin Doctor's Protein Vitamin C and Vitamin A capsules. These were weird. I don't hate them, right? They're like these little tiny um, pods. Let me see if I can find one. Ooh. They're these little tiny pods. Let me see. Can you, can you see that? And one of them's for day and one of them's for night. And you sort of twist off and then squeeze out the product and put it on your face. I didn't mind them, but the only thing I found, it's so weird. It's like, as soon as I put the, like it was a liquid, and as soon as I product, put the product on my face, it disappeared. It's like, it felt like it turned into very, very finely milled powder. Like I, I, I rubbed it on my face, but it didn't feel like I was rubbing in a fluid. It felt like I was just spreading a really finely milled powder across my face. Totally strange. Anyway, I, I didn't really see any results and um, it's a little bit too finicky and it's a little bit too weird for my liking. So, but anyway, that's that. Next thing I have is this, oh, I don't know what the brand is. Hang on, Let's see if I can find it. Mm, Dr. Carver's? Uh-oh. I've seen this little bad boy on Facebook uh, that's usually sold alongside of a razor. 
it's shaved butter and I can't remember the brand and I've cut half of it off and it's not doesn't seem to be in my baggie. So anyway, um, I tried this. I normally use the um, men's shaving gel in like a, it's a Gillette one. Um, it's got an orange container. Anyway, I love that, right? I can see what I'm shaving, where I'm shaving. And this is like clear and I had enough to do an entire leg, but I don't know. It's hard to tell where you've shaved. I saw people saying, oh, I love this because you can see where you've shaved. It's completely transparent. And I've got really bad lighting in my house. So um, you'd think that I'd be able to see my hairy legs since they are very thick. But uh, I couldn't. And, and then I would go over a bit that I've already done and it's already scraped off the shave butter and it was a bit, eh, I don't like this. Um, so... That's a big pass for me. I can see why some people might like it, but for me, it didn't. Mm, I, I get better results with the shaving gel and a closer shave, actually. So, anyway, moving on. I now have what are you? The ordinary buffet serum. Oh, I love this stuff. I haven't been using it lately though. I've just been really distracted, distracted, like since the COVID and then my life dramas and everything like that. I really got to get back into using that again because. After about two weeks of using it with my regular moisturiser, I can definitely see results, especially in winter. I've got to get back into using this, but I absolutely love it. And three products left. I have this Dermavine Extra Gentle Intensive Moisturising Lotion. This is whatever. It's a moisturiser. I ended up using this on my hands as well because it just wasn't enough. So, yeah, for my body or my face. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a body lotion, but... Anyway, it wasn't horrible, it just wasn't enough for my dry skin. So, last two products I am throwing away because, well, I don't like the formula on one of them and I do like the formula on the other one, but it's out of date and it's all funny. So the first one that I've got is this Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Unzipped. I really, really, really love the colour of this one. So I'll see whether maybe I can show you guys a little bit. It's just turned... It's just turned chunky, so um, I'm getting rid of her, and smells really nice too. Yeah, I, it's a it's a shame. Uh, I really, really, really do love this, but it's just gone really gluggy and really, really weird, and I don't mm -mm, no. So anyway, and the other one is this Luna by Luna cream lipstick, liquid lipstick, and um, I don't mind the shade of this. Mm, I've got lipstick formulas that are far better than this. I don't. Yeah, I don't like the smell, it's kind of weird, and um, I don't like the, uh, the f when it goes on the lips, I uh, don't know if you can see that, when it goes on the lips, when it dries down, it leaves that sort of crust around the outside of your lips. Yeah, I, I don't have time for that, I really don't. I mean, I'm sure I could just do some touch-ups and, and blot it down a little bit, but I just, I couldn't be bothered. I've got far better formulas, and so I don't want to waste my time on that, so... Yeah. Now, <laughs> I breeze through that pretty quickly. I've literally got nothing else left in my little basket. And um, I do apologise if I sped through that, but I, uh, I'm i a bit rusty. So, mm. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and uh, I do hope to pump out some more uh, footage, some more content for you guys soon. Uh, with my regular setup obviously but um in the meantime i hope you guys keep yourselves well and stay safe and healthy and um if you like what you saw today go ahead feel free give me a thumbs up if you're not already part of the crew don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more but like i tell everybody else don't forget to hit the bell if you want to be notified of every single video that i do upload particularly because i don't have a schedule so i do like to get one or two videos up a fortnight and uh, that's not always the case so um yeah, but I mean, if you just want to chit chat or whatever, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, um, here, uh, where else? <laughs> I can't even remember where I'm, oh, Twitter, um, yeah, so, but predominantly I'm either on here or Instagram, um, so if you can't catch me here, because I don't have one of those community tabs yet, so jump over on, uh, on Instagram, my socials are up here, you can see, and, um, send me a message or have a chat and anything that I post and uh, yeah, let me know if you've tried any of those products and um, until later guys, take it easy. Bye.